Hello everyone, this is Sunny. Today I'm going to take you to Emirates Training College and here I am driving down. It takes about half an hour to reach Training College which is located in El Garhud area, passing by Murdoch City Center which is one of my favorite shopping centers in Dubai. On the right hand side you can see crew bus because Training College is near Emirates Group Headquarters and that's where all the crew buses depart. Currently, there are three buildings for crew training, A, B, and C. And now we are heading to crew training building C. And we have arrived. Let me find a parking spot so I can walk into the building. You're looking at building A, which is aircraft shaped building. And I'm heading there, building C. 7 stored floor and is very famous for its 7 heaven, which is canteen floor, cafeteria. Recently, the interior has changed to a kindergarten concept, just kidding. <laughs> um, spacious, very colorful, and of course, cannot survive the training without coffee. So here you go, famous coffee shop, Costa. Bit weird feeling to have a visitor pass, but who cares, let's go up the second floor. Second floor is for recurrent crew and for ebony shows. Left hand side is for recurrent training and right hand side is for Ebenezer training. And this is where all the Ebenezer's begin their SAP journey. Several classrooms are available and this is where they get theoretical knowledge and get tested before they head down to the famous simulator area for practical. Trainer seat and famous projector. And when coffee is not enough, you need to have a little sugar kicks. Therefore, every floor has a pantry. This one on the second floor is called Burger and Rob and lovely sweet vending machine, including coffee machine that has cadmium tea, only one dirham. Oh my god, very sweet. But try. This place, you can look down to various views, including the flight crew simulator area, somebody's in action, and training in process and that's my favorite blackie evacuation hall there are few recurring crew having training today looking down you can see maintaining social distance well done crew 777 simulator crew also get to uh, slide down the slide ramp but some crew do not follow the safety regulations and guidance so they bang their heads on the wall so that's why the walls are all padded up in case somebody goes a little bit further than where they're supposed to stop. Cabin bags lined up. Taking you to the center of the evacuation hall. Famous pool, including live jackets. Nice. Orange one for crew, yellow one for passenger. Triple seven simulator, 380 static simulator, and further on the right side, you can see 340 simulator. Let me take you into 330, 340. We don't have this fleet anymore in Emirates because we got all rid of it ever since 380 arrived. But we still use it because the concept of the movement and various systems are very similar to 380. To the cabin, taking it to a lab tree. Identical to the real one on board. Let me open it, unlock, open, and ta-da, inside. Don't use it, it's fake with a camera inside. Small galley. Containers and milk carts you further up the premium cabin and here's more galley more containers more meal carts let me show you how to open a meal cart a latch either lift or press down the handle and pull it out here we go open press onto the green paddle to release a brake And press down to the right pedal to apply brake. Close it nice and neat. And jump seats, some panels available as well for the purser to control the various systems and the features of the cabin. Flight deck door, taking you back to the cabin, premium cabin, 
with a luxurious, a virtual window. Going further down to where majority of you belong, <laughs> kidding, economy cabin, let me show you how to open a hat rack. Baby bassinet labeled, so sure that there's a baby bassinet. And comes a complimentary baby doll. Ah, oh, please, for training purpose, do not place any babies or infants in the hat rack. Red stickers to identify whether the hat rack has been safely latched fully. Now I'm taking you to 380 simulator and ta da! Here's economy cabin, ML3 door, exactly the same as a real one. And going in, iOS where trainers sit to control the simulator. Going further up again, economy cabin, more cameras. further further and when you U turn you are going to find a four staircase I'll go up for you so you can see upper deck of a 380 aircraft now on a real one here is where the real fountain is uh, located if it's first class cabin however it's a simulator for safety related training purposes so we don't have Open the area. Normally, this area is a shower, spa, or lavatory. However, ah, this one's simulator. Forbidden area, taking you back to the cabin. Premium cabin, and you get to see an operative door, which is slightly curvy and smaller in size compared to a main deck door. Walking more down into the cabin, and that's it. Let me U turn. And I'm going to take you back to a main deck. So let's go back down the stairs where more fun is. You're looking at the MC1 jump seat, which is known as a person jump seat, but person doesn't really sit there practically, but cabin supervisor does. Four steps up, flight deck, captain seat, and that's the first officer seat. At the back side, there are two observer seats. It can be three. Four engines on 380, therefore you can see four fire extinguishing switches and central console, including an interphone. Connecting to cabin. Person sits at ML1 area, so that's ML1 door, and person gets to use this touchscreen luxury panel to control the various systems and features of the cabin. And here is the person sunny, seated, well, ex-person. If you're currently a cabin crew, please do remember to tuck in sure the harnesses and seatbelts nice and neat. And this is exterior view of the slide raft. Upper deck slide, main deck slide, example, upper deck slide from UL1 door and that's about 14.7 meters and that's ML3. Taking to 777 door training. Here we go, my favorite 777 slide wrap door and that's an emergency equipment room where various emergency equipment are located and crew get to touch and feel and get trained on. Also, fire equipment, but fire, there is more serious training I'll show you later on. Here I am demonstrating how to put on, how to don, flight deck, put donning onto a mask, 34500CRC training room, it's been abandoned because we don't have it anymore, CRC view, FES, FES, fire extinguishing system, go down the staircase, CRC normally replaces a certain part of car compartment, let me take you down, just give you a bit of a slight view of how the CRC look like, has many bunks, Kirk get to have a horizontal rest individually in each bunk, of course in case the main door gets jammed, there's an emergency hatch. Here we go, taking you outside, beautiful weather, and that's where the crew gets the fire training. Various types of fire training, class A, B, C, let me take you in. Crew gets to feel a real fire here and fight it with a halon that's filled up with water and pressure. That's a seat fire training and that's a lavatory fire. Class A, solid fire. Class B, flammable liquid fire and oven fire. This one also has a master galley power switch. In case the fire or smoke is uncontrollable or 
unknown. That's about it. Assembly point. In case there's a real emergency or evacuation required or even earthquake. Flight training and recurring crew gets congregated here for safety until the fire warden gives us clearance to enter back to the building. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed a quick tour around Emirates Training College Building C and I hope I'll get a chance to show you other buildings as well in the near future. If you enjoyed the tour with me, please don't forget to click like and don't forget to subscribe if you have not done it yet. Thank you very much everyone and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye!